Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Scholar of the First Sin. Though we have made oh so many sins after that. Is it even worth keeping track of the first? I don't know. But, uh, wow, look at all these. Look at all these potential fires I could be making. This is a pyromaniac's dream, I gotta say. And <laughs> just wait. Oh, there's an even bigger fire coming up, let me tell you. I can tell you all about it. Except I'd rather show you. That's one of the benefits of using videos. Is that you can show people things instead of just telling them. Also, I don't... I feel like something has changed here. I don't know, maybe there was always a pit of death waiting for me there. But hey, this is neat. If you roll into the water with your fire, your fire turns into not fire. Oh jeez, I hope my hammer doesn't rust. That's that's not actually a thing that happens. But yeah, loving this blacksmith's hammer. At some point I'm gonna have to upgrade away from it. I think it's a weapon that actually uses uh, Twinkling Titanite to upgrade, so... Usually those end up being slightly less powerful than a regular weapon at plus 10. Though I gotta admit, I, I'm really liking it. Now, in this area, there's actually a very good reason to light as many fires as you can. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's this guy! Hey, it's also that guy! I'm not gonna worry about you too much. But, uh, okay. See, you see this hollow here? He's actually not... He's not going to try and kill us. Uh, he is what I call the Torch Buddy, and he follows you around with a light. Yes, friend. And uh, he's basically a torch that you don't have to wield yourself. You can hit him and kill him, it gives you souls, but I like having a friend. Especially a friend who helps out, and uh, bringing fire along in this area is a big help. So we're going to see how long I can keep him alive. He used to not exist in this particular area of the game, but I'm really glad they added him in. We're going to be such good friends, you and I. Lucatil. You're in a different spot than usual, but I'm glad you're here. I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> I got a friend. The longer I am here, the more madness I discover. Uh, what could have caused such degradation? Sorry. I'm trying to cut out the pauses between various lines of speech, but sometimes I take too long and then skip a whole line altogether, so maybe I'll just stop doing that. Ah, yes. I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. This is for you. <sighs> Course, it looks just like me. <laughs> Our land of Mira is surrounded by enemies and constantly at war. There is only one way up in Mira. Join the Order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword, and my loyalty to my lord. That's the old uh, sword and lord combo. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield, and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here to... Party! Have you heard of the undead? These poor souls affected by the curse. 
An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true. I can only hope. <gasps> that they are. She's an undead too. I'm sorry. The burden you would talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary these days. It's okay, Luke Teal. We're in this together. You and I. We can defeat the curse. I think I think that's what we're here for, right? Or am I here to make lots of torch buddies? Uh Start, starting to have trouble remembering. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there used to be a ring of life protection in there, but not anymore. Nope, all you get are human effigies. Which serve a similar function, but not, not the same. Not quite the same. That's funny, though. That's funny. No! My torch buddy! I'll save you! Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Thought you were in danger. I couldn't... Oh, I'm sorry. Hugs. Hugs make it better. This... Was this... No, that's... That's new. What the heck? It's just a little hiding spot. Also, I'm really sorry. I hope... I want to heal you, but I can't. Game doesn't consider us a party, even though we totally, totally are. And I think that's unfair. You're not mad, are you? No, he's not mad. I, I believe he understands that was an accident. <laughs> yep, this building is still pretty pointless. So yeah, I'm just I'm taking my time here. Taking it easy, not rushing ahead. I don't want to get my torch buddy hurt. Though I keep on putting him in bad situations. Now he's just—he's just being a silly goof now. Don't fall. Because if you fall, well, I guess I'll just pick you back up. Again. That's what friends do. Don't throw fire at me. Uh, no, that's wrong. He wasn't throwing fire at me. Just oil. Oil that sticks to you, slows you down, and causes you to explode if you then get hit by a fire attack while still covered in it. And that actually brings up a good point that there are... Uh, you can coat yourself with liquids in this game, essentially. So if you find poison water and you roll in it, you'll get completely coated with poison, and you will thusly uh, have poison build up on you until it slowly drips off your body. And if you coat yourself in water, you'll become a little more resistant to fire. And I don't know if it's regular water, but there are some special... It might be specific, it might not be, but some water urns will give you a lot of fire resistance. Here we go. I don't like these. I don't like these things. First off, they're freaky. Secondly, they have a very long attack range. And third, they do a lot of damage and swarm you. Usually carrying a torch deters them, scares them off. That's why... That's one reason I'm happy to have Torch Buddy here with me. Yeah, there we go. See, he doesn't like the light. So, by bringing my friend along here, I have a silent protector. It's quite helpful. Though, you know, to be safe, I might just bring along my own torch, too. 
fudge! Oh, you got me. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Maybe I shouldn't be lighting my torch right near guys who throw oil. Maybe. That's right. That's right, you don't want to mess with this. Only, uh, if you do back them into a corner like that with a torch, they will go into a rage and stop being scared by it. So... You gotta, you gotta make sure you use your torch strategically. Shit. And sometimes I guess they just don't care? Which seems to be what's happening right now. It's like... Oh yeah, you got a torch. What of it? Nope. I really hate these enemies. I really hate them. Oh, and I'm all the way back here. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. You there! Wake up! So, time to be having a nap. You there! Stop shooting arrows at me. Maybe I shouldn't die. Guess I should probably try and survive. Get my souls back. All that jazz. Re-recruit our friend here. I'm sure that they have the respawn limits as well. So I'm glad he didn't die. Oh, a scimitar, eh? Hey, that's a, that's oh, that's a, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Take a moment here. And it will use effectively. Oh well. But scimitars and I guess what you would call uh, curved swords have really good attack sets in this game. And they're some of the better weapons because of it. I think the scimitar here. I don't know if that's a parry or just an attack. Kind of looks like a parry, but it's probably an attack. Anyway. We may deal with those later, or we may not. I don't... I promise nothing. Except that I will play this game. I'm going this way. So I can get killed by dogs. Man. Oh man. Yikes. You know, if those if those stupid shadow creatures didn't just suddenly decide, oh I don't, I don't care about you having a torch anymore, ho 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 ho, then I wouldn't have been in that situation. Frickin' shadow guys. Seriously, but <laughs> Probably one of my least favorite enemies in this entire game, aside from all the other <laughs> least favorite enemies I have in this game. Thanks, I really wanted an arrow in my head. It helps me think to have steel and wood taking up the same space as my frickin' brain. You don't know how much you've helped me here this day. 
Are you completely serious right now? Get the fuck out of here. Defense for what just happened there. It's completely my fault. Running on frustration. <laughs> that guy's got a giant chicken wing. Oh man, I'm starting to get sick of this area already. Can go anywhere else? Is there anywhere else where I can. No, those white portraits, I don't think they signify where you can be invaded. These are all just bonfire intensity ones, so I'm really not sure what's going on there. Oh, I do not want to be here right now. Just gonna keep making uncomfortable noises. Okay, okay, we'll do this. Don't run off the edge, please. try to rush, the more I'm going to have enemies come up behind me, swarm me, and just chip away at that precious health. So, I gotta curb my urge to speed through here. Ha, I just kicked you in the face. And I need to watch my stamina, that's important. It's not a lot, but every lost soul hurts. Every single one is going to come back one day, dead of night, and say, Hey, you're bad at video games. And I can't defend against that, because I am bad at video games. Hey, buddy. Excuse me. I think he's a little zoned out right now. Sorry, friend. Okay. Okay. As long as I take it easy, take it cautious. Don't put myself in a situation I cannot get out of. I can probably do this. Chances are, I'd say, 73%.
You can, you can feel his excitement for this chest. Yes, the bandit axe. So imagine the hand axe, but better. And you've got the bandit axe. Let's see here, my craftsman's hammer does 11 more damage, so we'll stick with that a little longer. But yeah, I think that Bandit Axe may be my weapon of choice when I start uh, really deciding on a weapon to take me to end game. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Let me drop. Let me drop the torch. How thoughtful. Ooh, the Vangarian Helm. See, I didn't even pronounce that right. The Varen Varengian Helm. Close enough. I'm gonna wear it because it's got horns. Now I look probably about, uh, I want to say 40% cooler, which is a huge jump up in coolness. Hey, archers! Sick of you? I'm so sick of you. Uh, who's, who's shooting me from down there? Uh, are you shooting me from upstairs? No, we've got... Oh, he's hanging out there. I see. He's waiting by the thing I want to touch. So let's go touch him first. With uh, much velocity and metal. Tag! You're it. Shit. You're still it. I don't care. I won. Thank. Ow. I was going to say, thank goodness for light, but then it gave it archers a beat on me. It's still really good, though. We raised up that big torch up there. It's going to, first off, lighten up the area significantly, and secondly, to hear the cries of despair from the Dark Ones. And that's exactly why I wanted to do that. Because it'll give you a lot more space where they fear to tread, because it's it's so bright. And they only like grimdark games. Like, those people... Gosh, I, those people who uh, were all upset about Diablo 3 having colors, that's what we're fighting here. I don't know. You know, you can always make an attempt at humor, but you got to realize you won't always be successful. Haha, <laughs> you're wiggling in a silly way. Oh no. Life is so terrible, isn't it? to kill one. One interesting thing... Let me try that again. One interesting thing about those Dark Ones... I don't, I don't know if that's their name, I'm just calling them that. But they do drop the Pyromancer set. Okay. The very one from Dark Souls 1, if you may remember. So who knows? They may be... Uh, they may have some relation to Pyromancers. Or not. I don't know. Get boot. Shit. Be afraid of the light, please. Oh, it's gonna be nice to clear these guys out. Or maybe just run past them, because... To hell with that. Yeah, backstab. Yeah, kill him. 
ship. I really just want to get in here. And then if they don't follow me, I can just close the door. Ah, oh, safety. Oh no. Used to be an NPC here, but he's gone now. It's a tragedy. He's one of my favorites, too. Hey, a great sword. Trap ahead. I don't know what you're talking about. Could it be... Evil Farts? Okay, Silver Talisman. Well, that was not as worth it as it used to be. Oh, well. The point is that I killed things. Hit kills. As long as I two hand strong attack. Though that might be because I hit them while they were in an attack animation, but we'll see. So, we've got a uh, switch here that rings this bell. Brings that boat into dock. But something neat about this, because, like, you can just press the switch and ring the bell, but alternatively, Ring it yourself. I'm actually going to keep that equipped for now, but in my second slot. Because having a ranged weapon at one point will be extremely useful for us. Okay. No! Intensely, just overflowing with hatred of those. Ah! Because now I gotta go through all this again. All this again. <sighs> we'll be back. We'll be back. Hey, we made it back. I think I died, like, six more times just trying to go through the whole area again. Ugh. There's something... There's something going on here. Uh, especially with these... Ugh. Ugh, I'm just... I'm really getting sick of this. Yeah, look at you. You're so great. You got... You got stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's how they... Uh, retune this area for Scholar of the First Sin, or if it's always been like this, but... My god! Welcome to King Frustration. Who the fuck are you? Well, I'm dead again. Amazing. Well, hey everyone. I'm back. Uh, just so I could show off that you can break these boards off these windows here. So that's kind of a neat detail. So, as you may be able to tell, I'm extremely frustrated right now. And I think a lot of that has to do with the enemy attack patterns in this area. You'll notice a lot of the enemies have really wide sweeping attacks. And uh, for the player, when you have those wide sweeping attacks, you really have to pay attention to your surroundings. Because if you, if you glance a wall, your hit's going to deflect, it's going to lose damage, you're going to enter a stunned animation, 
and it's going to put you at a severe disadvantage in combat, whereas the enemies don't even have to worry about that. They can basically just swing wildly in close quarters with uh, no repercussions. And I feel like that's kind of the core of what's really, really ticking me off about this area right now. Also, I meant to, I meant to grab a torch back here and do that, but... I guess I might as well. I think what I'm going to go for here is opening the shortcut, and then I'll probably take a break and come back to this once the salt level in my blood has reached uh, less dangerous levels. I mean, I could really just stop now and come back to it later, but I hate leaving an area half-finished and not uh, having to rely on my memory for uh, the things I need to clean up. So I'd rather just suffer through this right now, and then I can worry about the boss fight later. Wow, that was a pretty cool shot there, dude. You weren't even aiming at me. Okay, what's this? Ah! Yeah, enemies in this area do a funny thing where they'll, they'll hang onto the ledge or place. And, you know, you try and hit them, the hitbox says no, and then you fucking fall off. You just fucking fall off the edge. Fuck this shit. Next time on Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Ugh. Until then... Ugh.